today I'm gonna be ranking every single character in MK1 from worst to best, starting from the bottom of the list. But before we hop right into the list, I gotta say a few things right quick. First thing I gotta say is, what is good in my gang? What is good, fam? And the second thing is, while watching this video, please understand that I am an average player, so my list will be different from somebody who is much better or much worse than me. This list is also based on my biased opinions from my history of games, like characters I win more as or lose more against. And last but not least, this is for entertainment purposes. I am a content creator, not an elder god professional sweat lord. I'm doing this for the fun of it, and this video was requested by you guys. If you don't agree with something I say, we can agree to disagree. Be respectful about it. These are my opinions after all. So if you see you see this salt, go ahead and take that. Get it? Because like you should take everything I say with a grain of salt. 32, I got John Cena, and listen up. I think we can all agree he got nerfed super hard, but just like everybody literally wanted. Constant 50-50s that were safe that launched is ridiculous. His mid might as well cover the full screen. And NRS was like, maybe it's an amazing idea to give him a full screen combo starter, a fast projectile that can combo, and a teleport that hits overhead and can be canceled into a 20% grab. And then somebody in the back was like, how about we give him a knockoff of Jade's ability? And that's how you drop a character that can do whatever he wants anywhere on the screen requiring zero brain power to use. I don't really Play rent like that but i guarantee if i did i could easily get to elder god with on release peacemaker there were literally people who did that people do that anytime a character releases broken or get over buffed <laughs> still strong though his range zoning counter zoning and his grab is still super cracked it's just after his nerves he's probably the weakest in the game 31 i got my current main bang bong and don't get me wrong i'm definitely downplaying a bit because i just want his pressure to be buffed pretty please but other than his a tier zoning he doesn't really have shit else and he's not even the best Bruh. zoner there's more of his crack though and certain cameos can make shang Tsung very scary to go against obviously this game is a 2v2 not a 1v1 well with how unfinished this game is it's more of like a one and a half versus a one and a half. He's strong, don't get it twisted. I just want some plus frames or a throw combo. Literally just give him a throw combo and he's perfect. I've had people tell me that he would be OP if we buffed his pressure because his zoning is so good. But are we gonna act like Liu Kang isn't in the same game? At 30, I got my boy Takeda Takahashi. He's really strong with like Sector and certain cameos and stuff, but his armor is terrible. His overhead can be punished. All of his overheads can be up blocked and punished. And if the opponent goes to up block and you go for a low, the only low you're gonna hit him with is a fucking kunai. Ah, so scary but he has some of the best looking combos insane range and insane damage so i cannot put him at the exact lowest his skill ceiling is actually through the roof i give him props to i give props to anybody who plays kid nowadays because i barely see him for real 29 is quan chi and don't get me wrong he's strong but he's so fucking annoying once he puts down that cage and then he puts down the thing to get armor so then you end up dropping him mid combo like what the fuck is this i know he did that in mkx but he was more of a glass cannon in mkx now you have cameos that could help him out however everything he does does have a gap in it so you can kind of just armor out of everything he does and his mix isn't even that strong it's just his annoying op ass portals they make him insanely good but his weak mix and gaps isn't all that insane so i gotta put him down here 28 is lung lao because he has the best armor in the game Wait, y'all thought y'all y'all wanted me to finish? That's pretty much it. His mix is okay, but he has literally the worst range in the game. I think he deserves like a a decent, like decently slow advancing mid with his hat, like he did in MK um 11, and he would be way better. I don't know why they didn't give him a button like that. He literally has a razor hat, but his damage is crazy good. His armor is crazy good. His plus frames are good. His throw combos are good. Give him Janet, and he's literally such an insane character. But yeah, he's just weak in some care some areas. Mainly his mix is okay and. And his range is probably the worst in the game honestly can we give kung lao a mid 27 i got baraka and one thing i must say is even though i do have him in the bottom 10 it does not mean he's trash give him cyrax and other than the chip damage he's still getting the insane damage and throw combos that he did before give him striker or like kano or some shit like that and he can do whatever he wants when he's in your face hella good pressure hella good plus frames he just lacks zoning which cameos can help with obviously honestly now that i'm recording this i think i want to put him higher but I'm too lazy to change that, so fuck it. 26 is Scorpion. He used to be one of my mains in MKX 9 and 11, but his gameplay is just boring now. He's still strong, though. He has an armored launcher, throw combos, good staggers, amazing range, great runaway. But that's all his gameplay really is, just a bunch of runaway and staggers. So if you're good enough, you'll definitely be able to outplay this character. It won't be as easy, especially if they insane at him, but if they're decent and not just jumping away, you have a chance, but it's still just boring. And you can kind of try to armor out of all of his pressure anyway, so. I just gotta put him this low. 25, I got smoke. I understand, listen, smoke means I understand his cancel is not the best. I understand that. I understand he has no mid. 
I understand that. Invisible mix. You have invisible overheads and lows. Please stop downplaying your character so much. Bring Kano, bring a car bring some cameo that guarantees you can go invisible and you just need a master doing your cancel while you're invisible. It's really not that crazy. Yeah, you're putting all your eggs in one basket, but it's it's literally like invisible mix. Like how like you guys still complain. Not to say he's insanely OP. After all, I do have him bottom 10 on the list of the best characters. I have him in bottom 10. And I hate his down players, but you have invisible mix, bro. That's all I have to say. You're the definition of a glass cannon, but you can't play a glass cannon character then complain about your glass cannon character not being over buffed to be meta. 24, I gotta put Raid Shadow Legends. Don't get me wrong, he used to be like top three in the game for real, arguably the best in the game, but after all of his changes and nerfs and the changes of some of the cameos, I think he's in a much better spot and he's still super strong. Great mix, plus frames, damage, zoning, a teleport. Other than his mid being really slow, he's He's a really strong character. And then again, even though I have him all the way down at 24, doesn't mean he's weak. I would still put him in A tier. 23 is Sub-Zero, and I know Sub-Zeros are gonna be fucking flabbergasted that I put him above Raiden, but his damage doesn't need buff. It's what? buff his damage, buff his damage, it's terrible, he's bottom five. Ice Clone, Runaway, mixed with Chameleon, Ice Clone. Repeat. That's all I have to say and you fucking win. Now since we're out of the bottom 10, I just want to say remember this is my opinion and just because these characters are bottom 10 doesn't mean they suck. Please keep it on my mind and if you get triggered by anything I say then I don't know what to tell you, like skedaddle. We can all respectfully agree to disagree. Remember, I'm just a content creator. This is just content for entertainment. It's not that serious. Anyways, let's get back into it. 22, I got General Soap. He's solid, great range, good mix, especially with Chameleon. Great pressure. When he puts his axe down, he's really strong. But other than that, you can low-key just like run away and try to outzone him and don't let him get his axe down. I don't know how you can do that. But the second you like get them too scared to put their axe down, you will win. Trust me. 21, I got Lee Mei. She's insanely good. And with certain cameos like Scorpion, Janet, and Mavado, she hits for 50% every single touch. It's disgusting. She does have hella gaps. Her mid kind of sucks. She has no range, baby ass range like Kung Lao. But her pressure and damage make up for it. So I can't put her too high, but I can't put her at the bottom either. At 20, I have Grass. Kind of trash on her release because he had arguably the worst neutral in the game besides like Havoc and Atara. But all his buffs have been small and he's been micro buffed here and there over and over again. Some of the chemis have been changed and now he's in a super strong, healthy position in my opinion. Well, healthy, that's debatable, but he's in a good position. Cameo changes along with his changes make him stronger. He has good range and neutral. He has better neutral now, but his clock mechanic makes him way better and so fun as a character. Props to anybody who mains Garrus. 19, I got Iguana. It's just, bro, it's just buff and buff and buff and buff and buff. And now he has mind games on mind games on mix with plus frames, throw combos. He's so strong. Invisibility, that's meterless? Okay. He arguably has better invisibility than the guy who that's supposed to be his whole gimmick because you don't need to spend meter on it. If you're playing Reptile nowadays and you're complaining, I'm gonna need you to log off. Cause maybe you're just asking. 18, I got John Carlton. His constant micro nerfs bring him back down in the tier list for me, but he's still super good, super, super solid. Some of the best pressure in the game still. And anybody can play this easy ass character. Just nerfs to his parry, his frames, stuff like that make him more tame. Plus, he has no projectiles. So, yeah, if you're going against a Shang or Lu and you're playing Johnny, uh, Good luck. 17, I got a rake, and I don't even want to rate his annoying ass. Right here in the 16th spot, I got- Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to leave him out of this. Overhead, low, command grab, parry, 50-50, fatal, plus frames, best range in the game, best projectile in the game. Yeah, this character is insane. He has little damage, but he needs that little damage with how he can really open people up with his mix. He's really, really, really solid. I wouldn't say he's top 10. I, I would say he's probably the best zoner, though, which is kind of, kind of crazy. If you're good at Rico, you can put people in situations where they feel like they can't do anything, and you literally just win. But just because of his low damage, he's not top 10 for me, but he's still super good and super annoying. 16 is Prince, and he's not even bad. It's just when he cancels, you can just kind of poke out of it or try to armor through all of his stuff. With Cyrax, he's super strong. With Janet, he's still amazing. He got throw combos, mix-ups, overheads, lows, got shimmies, he got everything. He got mind games, setups, like he's really good. His zoning is decent too. Just gonna put him this low because I know where to put him for real because I can't remember the last time I lost to a rain player because I usually beat them nine times out of ten. But he's still insane, arguably top ten. 15, I got Melina. Her mix is good, decent range. She has, she has really good range. Almost full screen combos, insane damage and setups. Melina is so fucking strong and I hate when people try to tell me that she isn't. This isn't old Melina when she had bugs in her strings. This is fixed Melina. Someone told me she needs buffed and how ass do you have to be to want to buff this strong ass character? Maybe make her low projectile full screen? Maybe? Her whole thing is how good 
her pressure is and rushdown is. Oh wait, I forgot. She also has a throw combo along with her plus mix strength. Yeah, she's fine where she is. She don't need change. I put her right at 15. At 14, I got Chick Door because of the insane zoning, good ass damage. Her wake up with Mataro is stupid. This character is so annoying, can do almost anything she wants. Her grab is almost unreactable, as, at least in my opinion. But I don't play this character, so I can't really say too much about her. Just going off of what I played against, I'm gonna put her at 14. At 13, I got Wanda, and I know she got some nerfs, but she's always been like top seven in the game, top five, maybe top three. But once you play against one super great Tanya player, you pretty much played against all of them and i know this from experience so i can't put her top 10 anymore especially after because she did get some micro nerfs and the fact that she lacks mix brings her down just slightly to me but she's still insanely good at 12 i got the guy from his armor his counter zoning his overhead launcher armor launcher low combo starter that launches armor break like other than a projectile which he doesn't even need because he can just negate all projectiles insane plus frames good mix-ups he's great with so many cameos or i think he has the best meterless damage in the game i'm not even lying when i say that i think he does i don't think i need to say more he's just hella nasty he's at 12. at 11 i got asthma and people are sleeping on this character i know you can fuzzy guard her overhead but her frames her range she's so disgusting especially if you fight against Somebody who can use the dark stance and the light stance well. Oh my gosh, this character starts to get really disrespectful. It's just not that many people play her anymore because we all learned how boring she actually low-key is. Especially because most Ashras would bring Serena and just like run away until they hit you, which is extremely boring. But I assure you guys, she's still insanely good. Now we're in a top 10 at 10. I got Katana. I think now is a good time to tell you guys I kind of winged this list because even though I think Katana is a plausible top 10, I don't think she's really better than Omni-Man or maybe Ashra but it's too late to change it now but the reason i put her here she has undoubtedly the best zoning in the game when she has like kung lao sub-zero or like kano or serena bro she goes so crazy with her zoning her damage is really really good she has unblockable free damage if she has like jacks insane whiff punishing yeah she's honestly super good especially with her screen control she has amazing damage and amazing zoning this character is insane at nine i got noob who is now my third main and he has literally everything you could want in a character full screen projectiles solid damage solid mix um, solid range, screen control, anti-zoning, plus frames, staggers, setups, throws combos, air combos. Like, that's not even mentioning how cool this character is. Like, this character is literally, like, a perfect character. If you main noob, hella props to you. He's way too cold. Like, I think we can all agree he is strong and broken with the right cameo, and he's just really, really solid. At 8, I got Natara, mainly when she has Farah, and yeah, this character's mix and damage movement. Oh my gosh, this character is crazy. Went from literally the worst character in the game at launch to being broken her damage is really good really good nataros will have you guessing like crazy and natara doesn't even have overheads like that you'll just be guessing because they're insane her damage buffs are crazy good i low-key think she's in a really good spot i don't think she's top seven in the game and with Farah, sometimes it does feel really unfair but still it doesn't mean she's broken once you can play around Farah, either like poking or armoring you can kind of get around her a little bit at seven i got um i can't think of a funny name for him so i'm gonna just play this Listen, the thing about Kenshi is it's very hard to open somebody up if they're pretty good at the game. But once you get Sento out, you kind of just win. Like, you know what I mean? You kind of just win. Getting Sento out and getting the opponent in the Kenshi Sento sandwich, and unless they are insanely good or insanely stupid, 85% of the time, it means you just win right there. Safe mix, that's plus at least a 40-50% meterless combos, and the opponent can't press anything. Yeah, anyone who downplays Kenshi is just a complainer. I mean, nobody really does count downplay Kenshi anymore, but... We could all agree it's kind of hard to open somebody up sometimes, but once you do, you win. At six, I gotta put my old number one main, Boo Bang. He was my main in like every MK game ever, but his loop of zone, 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 throw combo, plus frame, zone, 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 it's just repetitive and boring. So I stopped playing him as much, but he's still insane. He has literally no overheads, but his fast mid auto shimmy, when there's a threat of a 30% throw combo leading into plus frames, and then they buff him and give him a string with more plus frames. And he has the best zoning in the game, arguably. Yeah, Lu is insane. I've actually had people tell me they don't see how Lu Kang is unfair. I know I'm just an average player, but it's either A, you're terrible, or B, we're not playing the same game. Lu Kang is disgusting. And he was my main, and I'm not gonna downplay Lu Kang. He's busted. At 5, I got Ermac, and I don't even know where to start. If you guys look up, like, um... 
Rewind on YouTube, this guy is insane at Ermac. Overhead, sweep, combo starter, cancel is disgusting. He's such a skill heavy character too. I've been trying to master him slowly. I actually plan on making a mastering Ermac video if you guys are interested in that. He has this move where you can't do any damage to him and if you do and like say you get him in a combo, once that runs out your combo scales as if he was taking damage when he hasn't. That move is so underrated and so busted. His mix damage throw combo, he's absolutely insane. Easily top 5 without a doubt. The only reason I don't have a top 3 is because you can outzone him. At 4 I got Mami Sindel. Not only is she just insane with her mind games, but she has some of the best mix in the game. Mixy setups. She has some. Un she has an unblockable with Cyrax. I'm pretty sure it's an infinite. Her with Kung Lao or Tremor, her setups are so disgusting and she'll put you in a game where you just have to guess like 3 times and if you guess wrong once, you lose. Great damage zoning, armor breaking, neutral. Like, her neutral is so good. Low key? Low key? I don't know why I'm not playing this character. Should I main this character? Let me know if you want a mastering Sindel video too. I should play Sindel. At 3, I got Homelander and I don't think I need to explain. So why don't I go ahead and explain? Instant overhead and low combo starters that lead to 30% combos, which doesn't sound that insane, except for when you consider the fact that he also has full screen command grab into 30% combos, really good range, meterless mix. Yeah, this nigga always has breaker. So the chance of actually winning a match against this guy is so low because whenever you touch him, he'll, he'll break from the combo. Sometimes, nah, most of the time, if they know what they're doing, it's insanely oppressive and it's a no brainer that he's top three. It's so unfair. He's low key kind of unhealthy. And did I even mention his zoning is pretty damn solid? Like, yeah, there's that. Top three. At two, I have Cyrex. Now, when I recorded this video, I don't know if they nerfed her or not, so I'm gonna go out of the limb and say, like, they didn't nerf her yet. And yeah, she is stupid. Projectile that full combos, a teleport, armor break, a command grab that combos into an infinite bomb setup. Yeah, this character has never been more boring before. She does quite literally the same thing Cyrex has done in other games, but it's so slow, and every single Cyrex does the same exact fucking zero skill combo. It's so stupid. Stupid. She also has an overhead that launches, but you can mix it into a low that could also launch with the right cameo. And she has good frames. She has plus frames. And she has staggers. Oh my. The throw combo too. This character is so stupid and boring. Everybody who plays her does, they play the exact same. Because it's unstoppable. It's so stupid. I just can't put her outside of top 5. I'm gonna just put her top 2. Because I've only won against one Cyrax and she went my ass 7 to 1. And at the number 1 spot, I have this piece of fucking shit. There's a difference between slowly buffing or nerfing a character to bring them like um where the other characters are to make them a little bit more balanced like what we did with johnny and garris but what they did to fucking havoc bro he's literally the best character in the game and it's not even close he gets one hit on you off of his mix and he's getting 50 percent meterless off of unreactable mix by the way which leads into an unblockable 30 to 40 percent combo setup and i'm not talking about like hard to blockable i'm talking about literally unblockable you can't wake up you can't do the cameo wake up you can't delayed wake up you can't zone you can't do anything if you get hit once by this character you literally fucking lose like why would they why would they give him an instant low combo starter when he already has one with his sweep but him having multiple overheads and his strings make him so unfair that i've never fought against so many havocs before before his changes i've fought a whopping total of four or five havocs after the changes i can easily say it's been 45 plus havocs and it's so stupid how strong he is can we buff shang the way we buffed havoc please he is undoubtedly number one in the game right now and anyone who doesn't agree just see yourself out, my guy. I don't want to see you in my comment section. Yeah, that's where I put my list. I think it's perfect the way I made it because, you know, I kind of just winged it. I literally just went off a memory of what I remember. So there definitely are some spots that could be changed, but I think I got it almost perfect. And remember, this video is for entertainment and fun for somebody who's trying to have fun playing a game, not sit here and sweat off and win every single fucking match. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any stupid video ideas or fun video ideas, um, put them down in the comments below. Thank you for so much support on the last video. It has almost 5,000 views and over 100 150 likes so if we get anywhere close to that amount of views i'm gonna put a like goal of 100 likes please gang i've never done this before i've never had like a actual like goal but i'm trying to get it right, i'm gonna stop procrastinating i hope you guys enjoyed hope you have a good day